How's it going everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video and happy movie Tuesday. Another shopping video. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I am at work and uh, really, really wanting this day to be over with because it is a huge, huge release day. Right off the bat, I think what makes this day so big are the titles dropping to 4K. Some pretty big titles that I think a lot of us uh, movie buffs have been waiting to come to 4K. Hold on. Giant helicopter flying by. Sorry about that. Anyway, so I think probably the biggest uh, 4K titles coming today are the uh, Toy Story films. All three Toy Story films coming to 4K. And... Uh, Best Buy also has exclusive steelbooks for all three of them. Um, so that is pretty badass. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the Toy Story films to come to 4K. I myself definitely am definitely interested. Um, I don't know positively yet if I'm going to get them now or I'm going to wait a little bit for them to go down in price. I don't know yet. I know I really want those steelbooks too. But uh, it's kind of up in the air for me right now. Otherwise, the other big 4K titles are the Tim Burton, Joel Schumacher, Schumacher, uh, Batman movies coming to 4K, all four with individual slipcovers. Cannot wait. I definitely want to pick those up. Um, and uh, there will be still books of them. But um, the way they're doing it is that they're being released individually today. And then I believe in September, they're releasing a box set of all four on 4K, along with a still book set on 4K. So more than likely, even, even if I get the slipcover ones today, I'm probably definitely gonna get that still book set because it looks badass. So yeah, Toy Story and the Batman films coming to 4K. Um, there's also uh, the Robert Redford film, um, the natural comes to 4k today and uh i think that's it for 4k other than that we also have some new uh retro uh vhs slipcover titles being released today from mill creek some really cool 90s movies um i think a couple of them might be first time to blu-ray um but i wasn't sure if i'd be able to find those in store like walmart because that's usually who's had them. I went out to my big Walmart the other day in Stillwater and they completely condensed the whole section down to nothing. So I doubt they're going to be getting them. So I went ahead and ordered them all on Amazon. And for some reason, it doesn't look like they're being delivered today. They got delayed a little bit, but hopefully this week um, I'll get those. I picked out a couple of them that look pretty badass, like Van Damme double team with uh, Dennis Rodman. Um, Excess Baggage with Alicia Silverstone. Um, what else? Uh, uh, Jerry Duty with Polly Shore. Yeah, so some pretty cool ones. I cannot wait to see what they look like. God, let's see what else. We're also getting a Children of the Corn Steelbook today. That actually should be in my mailbox with a brand new Shout Factory title. Uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie finally is getting an individual Blu-ray release with a slipcover from Shout Factory, and uh, it should be in my mailbox with that uh, Children of the Corn still book. A couple other new to Blu-ray titles today, like Tom Selleck, Mr. Baseball, uh, Flintstones, Viva Rock Vegas, comes uh, to Blu-ray. Um, I think uh, Shaft with uh, Samuel L. Jackson, I think that's first time to Blu-ray today. Um, and then as far as new titles, I think the only real new title today is uh, Batman vs. Ninja Turtles. Uh, this new animated film, which I probably will pick up because I like getting all the Batman DC animated films that come out. <sighs> Am I missing anything? Oh yeah, and I think the only other one would be, uh, I think, The Flash Season 5 comes out today. Um, originally it was supposed to come out in like August, but Blu-ray.com updated it showing it being released today. So I don't know if that's a mistake or what, but um, that shows it's being released. So if that's the case, I probably won't get it because they're usually really expensive. I tend to wait for those to go down in price. 
So there you have it. That's pretty much everything. So like I said, a really big release week. I really have to decide on what I'm going to do between Toy Story and Batman because it's going to be a lot of money and I can't really afford both. So I have to decide which one I want to go with. Other than that, uh, today is actually a pretty busy day for me. After work, uh, Jess and I have to take my son Dodger to uh, his two-month checkup. And then after that, I'm headed to uh, my niece's choir concert for school. So I probably won't get out shopping tonight until like probably 8 o'clock. So it's, it's going to be a late video or a late shopping day for me. But hopefully I'll be able to get out and... Uh, find what I want so let's go get this day over with I'm excited cannot wait to get out to the stores we'll see you when I get off work well we made it to our first location the shizzle by nizzle yeah I uh, got off work took my son to his appointment which he ended up getting like two shots poor little guy went to my niece's concert and I got 15 minutes before Best Buy closes all right, guys, I'm going to have to do a little voiceover because uh, they are blasting music. But I forgot about this one, this new Medea film, The Family Funeral, came out today. That's 15 on DVD, 20 on Blu-ray. And then the new uh, extended cut of Star, a Star is Born, the like, encore edition, came out today for 25 uh, But, yeah, here's our Toy Stories. Uh, and look, at they got all the still books here. They got quite a few, too. This is crazy, but, like... The 35 for all the still books and then like 30 for the regular 4K slips. But these are pretty badass looking. I don't know. They're tempting. But 35 per still book. That's spendy. Let's check the other side. Well. Nothing down here. So at the top here, of course, we got our Batman movies. And, you know, I'm really digging this, these slip covers. I like that shiny gloss to them, but it's just so cool to see the Tim Burton, uh, Joel Schumacher, Batman's on 4K now. But, yeah, they got all of them, 25 bucks a piece. Um, and then, yeah, nothing else over here. But here's the Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Looks like they just got the 4K over here for 25 Looks like they're all out of the Blu-ray. Blu-ray's 18 I really got this little uh, standee out here for, like, Father's Day. Like some superhero movies. Looks like they got the Batman 4Ks on this side. Oh, here's uh, the Blu-ray of Batman vs. Ninja Turtles. So that's cool. All right, here's the, the natural on 4K today. I was telling you about. Looks like that's 20. Uh, what else we got? Still have yet to see Flash season five, so I'm pretty sure that was some kind of a mistake. I don't think it comes out till like August. All right, you guys, that was a quickie. We are out of Best Buy with five minutes to spare before close. So grabbed a couple things in there, and uh, we're gonna head over to maybe. I think we're gonna go to. Walmart next. Let's well, see. He dropped Jess and the kids off because it's uh, starting to get a little bit late. They got to get to bed for school. Their last day tomorrow. Woohoo! So I think I'm gonna head to, uh, like I said, Walmart, and that'll probably be the last place. So we'll see you over there. All right, you guys made it over to Wally World. Apparently, they uh, forgot to turn their sign on. So in we go. They got like all these new Men in Black International Funko Pops. Kind of advertising the new movie, and apparently you get like movie cash if you buy the old movies and for some of the pops. So that's kind of cool. So they got this exclusive for my dear family funeral. You get a limited edition tote bag. Okay, that's 20. Um, and this thing here, this 
Paw Patrol, Jungle Rescues for 10 bucks. That's new today. And then, of course, here's their Batman vs. Ninja Turtles. Same price as here as um, Best Buy. Uh, their special edition of Star is Born is a little cheaper, 23. But if you get like 13 additional minutes, some extended musical performances. Yeah. Ethan Hawke film, it's 15 for this. And then a movie down here called The World We Make. That is, looks like a DVD only. Yeah, they're in that pretty empty over here. Their 4K section, they do have all the Toy Stories for 30 a piece. They got the natural for 20. That's pretty much it for new 4Ks, I believe. And like usual, being the first Tuesday of the month, they did add some of their new, uh, um, you know, like low budget horror films. We got a couple cool looking ones. Red Summer. It's like some rip off of like your next or something. I don't know. Uh, the Covenant, I'll Take Your Dead. Uh, the odds. What's this? Clown Motel. Hey, Harvey Layman's in here. Cool. Huh. Oh, it looks kind of cool. There's something called the Cleaning Lady Music Box. Maybe called Death Day. <laughs> oh, is this a rip off of Happy Death Day? There's not much going on here at Wally World. I did notice their Blu-ray bin. It's normally eight bucks a piece. It's now at five, so you guys might want to check your Blu-ray bins at Walmart because they dropped a couple bucks, so I think we're gonna get out of here. All right, well, we're out of Walmart, and uh, I did not find anything in there. So I was hoping the, that there'd be a tiny chance of those Mill Creek slipcovers would be in there, but they're never at my Walmart. And now with the Stillwater one condensing way down to nothing, I only know of one other one, and that's probably the same distance uh, to get to as Stillwater. So I'll uh, check them soon, and hopefully uh, they're still, you know, still still have the big movie section, but. Um, it's late, you guys. Um, I'm not going to go to Target or anything. There's nothing. I doubt there's anything going on over there. So we're going to head home, and uh, we'll see what we picked up today. Okay, you guys. We made it back home. So I'm sitting in the driveway. Let's see what we picked up today. Okay, so nothing over at Walmart. Just Best Buy today. First one up here is Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, it just, it looks like fun, and you know me, you know, anything DC, animated, Batman, whatever, you know, I'm going to pick up, and it was cheap, so uh, excited to uh, to check this one out for sure. Um, but anyways, so then that takes us to, of course, Batman on 4K, the uh, 1989 Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson from, of course, the man, Tim Burton. I remember when this came out, uh, I was like seven, and then me and a, a friend of mine were really into Batman. We like, we used to watch the uh, 1960s TV show like all the time when it was on, because they used to play a lot of reruns back in those days, but we, we, we missed the opportunity to see it in the theater. I think it was like sold out the day his mom took us, but when this came out to rent, oh my God, we planned such a big party night at his house, and watched it and just loved every minute of it but had to pick them up you guys they're just just all-time favorite uh you know dc superhero films of mine uh batman returns uh you know of course from tim burton as well and then you know i i just had to get them all you know batman forever this is where joel schumacher took over um jim carrey um tommy lee jones i mean i love these movies 
And then everybody's favorite, Batman and Robin. Yes, I even like this movie. I don't even care. I know people hate it, but, uh, you know, it's a movie I don't take seriously. I just have fun with it. I mean, Schwarzenegger and his cheesy one-liners. I mean, come on, you guys. But I am so happy that these came out to 4K. It's just... Uh, and like I said, I'm really digging these slips. I wasn't a fan at first, but I really like them. I just can't believe Batman's on 4K. Oh, got to get a 4K player. Here are today's pickups. All Batman. Uh, um, so as far as Toy Story goes, you guys, I'm going to be picking up the slipcover editions very, very soon. I know they'll be around for a while. You know, I, I mean, as far as like the slipcovers, you know, um, I'll get them when they go down a little bit, if they go down a little bit. But today, you know, I wanted to buy all the Batmans. I didn't have enough to get both. You know, I had to really pick and choose. Should I go Batman or Toy Story? And then as far as the still books, like, you guys know me. I don't get a lot of Disney still books, but I really want those. I really like them. And it looks like they had a lot. So um, I even found more in a different section when I was in Best Buy. So I'm hoping that... Um, you know, in a couple days, I'll go back and they'll, you know, still have some there. Um, hopefully, I gotta, you know, cross my fingers, but I'll, I'll get them uh, eventually, you guys. I just, you know, I just didn't have enough cash in me today to, to go that crazy. So that'll do it for what I picked up out in stores today, but um, it still was a really big uh, release week. It's just a lot of the stuff uh, wasn't in store. Um, and uh, most of it I actually did order and I, I got stuff kind of coming throughout the week. Um, sadly, you know, it, it, it didn't all come today. I don't know why. It's just, you know, like I said earlier, a lot of it got delayed. So the stuff that comes throughout the week, I will do uh, an unboxing video later in the week because I, I got some other stuff that I got in the mail the other day that I haven't even unboxed yet. It's just been crazy uh, <laughs> around here lately. So big unboxing coming with, you know, stuff comes throughout this week and, uh, you know, the stuff I already got. So, but however, there is one package that did arrive today. Uh, some titles that got released today, two of them. Um, so I'm going to head in the house and uh, unbox that for you guys. So at least we can see a couple more titles that uh, got released today. So let's head into the house. Okay, we're back in the house. And here's my package. And uh, yeah, when I brought this in the house, it was soaking wet because it... Uh, it was like pouring here earlier, but uh, hopefully nothing is damaged in here. But this is just like, you know, like nothing. Um, it's like, you know, newspaper or whatever you want to call it. So it could have leaked right through. But let's go ahead and open this up. So like I said, there's two things in here. And uh, I'm really excited about both of them. All right, you guys. Okay, so the first one off the bat, I was really... Nervous that it wouldn't have a slip, but it does. And that is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, um, released by Shout Factory. And I remember when I heard this was coming out and I ordered it, I didn't even know it had a slip cover. My buddy Craig told me, and I just, oh my God, I couldn't be happier. But I was a, I think Power Rangers was like the last big thing I was into as a kid. Like, it was kind of like, I think I was around 13, give or take. Uh, when Power Rangers, you know, were getting really big. And then it wasn't much longer after that when I just completely got out of, you know, toys and all that stuff. But I remember when this movie came out, I still really enjoyed it. I think I was like, I'm trying to remember. I think I was like 13 or 14 when it came out. Um, but uh, Shout Factory released a, a still book set of like the, um, like the TV show series like the first couple seasons uh, that came, that was on DVD, uh, but it actually came with the movie on Blu-ray, uh, but you could only get it in that set, and now they finally released uh, an individual copy. I'm so glad I didn't get that still book set because it was really expensive. I almost did because I thought it was a Blu-ray set. I thought like the whole TV show was on Blu-ray, but when I found out it was DVD, I was like, no. Nah. But this was, in fact, a Blu-ray disc in that set. But uh, I held off, and I'm glad I did, because now I've got a badass slipcover uh, edition of it. So I cannot wait to check that out on Blu-ray. And then the other one I got, you guys, is Children of the Corn Steelbook. Yeah, it just came out today, and 
Oh, nice. And I got a nice dent. Don't you love that shit? You fucking kidding me. Oh. So. I'm gonna have to exchange this for another. I hate doing that shit. That just piss you off. So, here's the two items that came in the mail today. Like I said, a few other titles, like those Mill Creek ones that I told you about, um, and uh, another you know new Blu-ray title. Um, they're all kind of coming throughout the day. Like there's one coming tomorrow, then the next day, and then I think Friday. I don't know, but like I said, when they all start coming, I'll do one full unboxing of all that stuff. So. All right, you guys, that'll do it for today's shopping video. Uh, I had a good time. Uh, a lot of cool stuff uh, came out today. Um, and just so stoked about uh, Toy Story and uh, Batman coming to 4K. So definitely we'll get those Toy Stories very, very soon. Trust me. But uh, anyways, stay tuned for next week, you guys. We got another very, very big uh, release week. Uh, we got Scream Factories coming out next week. Um, it's in a you know, super big title, uh, super big Marvel title coming out next week. So I cannot wait. Uh, so definitely, uh, stay tuned for that video. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that like button down below, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys picked up today. Share the video around, subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.